troops. Turning out of Austin, and take a look at this. We logged on to the city's website and found that in the month of October, there were 22 shootings and seven murders. Mm. Now looking at that, you might be surprised to hear a city outreach program called SOAR is about to be shut down. Yeah, this certainly caught our attention. Boston 25 News reporter Bria Douglas is standing by. She is live tonight in Roxbury. And Bria, the timing of this closure, it has a lot of people upset. That's right, Vanessa, because it operates in underserved communities like the one I'm in in Roxbury, where we've covered recent gun violence. And people impacted by this program tell me it kept them out of trouble, and they're sad to see it go. It's game night. Let me get first team offense. For Coach Walter West. A championship is on the line. On the ball, seven seconds, ten. For his Boston Chargers. I might have not made it to the NFL like how I wanted to, but I'm doing something close in my eyes. Shotgun blue. He's come a long way from his days of growing up in Dorchester, an underserved community where he looked for guidance. If I didn't have these people, man, I, I probably... Probably would have still been out here doing the same thing I was doing when I was 13, 14, running the streets. He credits the city's SOAR program, which stands for Street Outreach, Advocacy, and Response for keeping him out of trouble and giving him a heart to give back. Let's go get you. The program has more than 20 employees and is run by Boston Centers for Youth and Families. They were like big brothers, they helped me out with jobs. In September, the city announced SOAR would shut down in January. In a letter sent to the program's union, the city wrote in part, the city is reshaping its approach to youth violence prevention throughout the year using a public health framework. Taking away something right now, especially at this time, is 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 ludicrous. Jay Flave is also disappointed SOAR is closing. He says his brother stayed out of trouble for 16 years because of it. We don't really have no uh, programs as it is, so to try to take away the only program that we got, one of the last of the Mohegans, it's kind of like, I don't know where we're going. For Coach West, he will continue to do what SOAR did for him, and that's leave a positive imprint on the next generation. What better person to be a mascot for the kids? Like, you know, you know, the show, I'm like, you know, I've been through this. I had my ups and downs, and look at me now. One, two, three. And the city says it will work with SOAR employees to find other opportunities in Boston. As for Coach West, his team won the championship tonight. Live in Roxbury, Bria Douglas for your local station, Boston 25 News. Congrats on that win, Bria. Thank you.